Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement and having. When people walk out of a shop looking at a homeless person, what are they looking at? Why is their first direction to look outside that shop? What is that inside retail employee saying? What is it they're trying to push on? What is it they're trying to get them or expect people to do? Let me tell you about the humblingness of being homeless in communities that do not regard poverty because they're too close to the poverty line. I went to the ruler store the other day to buy some food. I bought the food that I could afford and that I needed for my life in that moment of time. I did have a yellow coat that I had pulled and openly I was trying to provide it to someone in that shop to let them know that their child might need it going into fall. And openly all they had to do was wash it up and it was a good Reebok coat, bright yellow with some blue striping to it. Almost a law enforcement kind of jacket for someone who was working during the 9-11 incident. But openly I provided it to a black woman the Lord asked me to provide and what she told me was that she had three boys and she'd be happy to receive it. She also tried to negotiate with me that on behalf of the receipt of the coat that I could, she could buy me some additional food so I could eat. And I thought that was loving and kind, but she took a lot of time to get her people through the line, and that was her prerogative. But instead of just holding on to that conversation in that way, she didn't think what that felt like. She actually then talked to her boss, she talked to other people about me in line, and I finally just left. Because with all that talking and squawking, all she had to do was finish out the conversation she had with me, the transaction that she decided to offer to me, and off openly she solicited me with. I practically just wanted the coat that was too small for me and anyone I knew to go to a new good home. Openly what I'm finding is in my bin that other things are missing, a jean jacket that I never gave out to anyone. But that might be because I threw it away because I didn't need it any longer. It wouldn't fit me. It certainly wouldn't be appropriate for me as it was not a male's jean jacket. And I don't wear jean jackets anymore. That was something I did in my college days. And every human being had a right to match their girlfriend with clothes like that. But at this time, I don't match my ex-wife who's no longer here. I don't match my late spouse and who I still hold dear. But someone is playing in the shadows pretending to be me online and offline in the most immoral, evil, and illegal way.